the Fiesta Bowl. Oklahoma State taking on Notre Dame. This is at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Let's let's see. I've, I've got the bowl gifts here, so let's go ahead and do that. Notre Dame is favored by two in this game. Interesting. The bowl gift is a PlayStation 5 console and a to-be-determined game. And that's it. I kind of expected more, but the fact that it is uh, the PlayStation Fiesta Bowl, maybe I should not have expected more. Uh, but that is a pretty big value there. A, a PlayStation 5, those things are expensive. Expensive. I just got an Oculus, and that thing is awesome. Like, I like the Oculus. It's, it's different from the PlayStation. But uh, but I do like that. I do like that. I will have to get a PlayStation 5 for the new NCAA football game coming out. But either way, uh, Oklahoma State, we still don't know if the running back Jalen Warren is going to play. Spencer Sanders, the backup running back, by the way, uh, Jackson, he has transferred or is transferring, so he's not going to play in this game. So Oklahoma State down some key offensive guys. That's certainly going to hurt them because they were already at a disadvantage on offense anyway. Notre Dame, you know, Kyle Hamilton, out for this game, but he's been out for multiple, multiple weeks. This is still a, a top 10 secondary in college football, even without Kyle Hamilton in there. So that's certainly big. Marcus Freeman's debut game, there is something to be said for all the momentum in the world in this game with Notre Dame. They are hyped up for this. They are ready for this. Uh, Jim Knowles, the defensive coordinator, sticking around for uh, Oklahoma State. And, of course, we talked about this on the Bet US show, a little bit of gamesmanship here going on. Jim Knowles not starting at Ohio State just yet, sticking around to game plan against Notre Dame. And who is his first opponent when he gets to Ohio State at the beginning of next season? That would be Notre Dame, of course. So you get the game plan for him twice in a row. I, I like it. I like it. Good idea for Jim Knowles there. Neither one of these offenses is great. Uh, both of these defenses are. I think the Oklahoma State defense is significantly better, but we have seen this multiple times this season and, and we saw it certainly in the Big 12 title game, the Oklahoma State turnovers are a problem. Uh, I'm going to side with Notre Dame to cover the two here. Now, this is not an official play because I don't know that I can count on turnovers uh, from Spencer Sanders and Bunch. Uh, Mike Gundy, I'm sure, will have some kind of a game plan drawn up. But this one's going to be interesting to watch. Very, very interesting. I'm excited that it's in this window. Uh, we've got, you know, three games in that window right there, 12 p.m., 1 p.m. that I am going to have on all three of the TVs that you see behind me right here. So, so definitely excited about that. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.